Hi friends, so I'm really happy now because one of my old patients has come after many years. Uh, he's now 14 years old. He was born with a bilateral cleft lip, alveolus and palate. I've done two surgeries for him and uh, he's come now because he has some issues with his teeth. I'm going to get to that but first up I'm going to show you how he looked how he was when he was born. This is a cutie, you can see that. Then uh, I'm gonna show you, this was immediately after the repair. And this was before we uh, took off the sutures. And you don't end the version, end of the year? So that was in the year 2007. And then you can see this was him uh, after we removed the stitches. And I think this was about one week follow up. That was a bilateral. And then here you can see him growing up. And this was when he was in, I think, fifth grade. So that's about nine years old. And then this is the same him. So now, um, this was before that again. This was two years. Let me just check. Ah, my love, my yeah, this was in the year 2019, so that's two years ago, and you can see the, and this is him now, you can see the t-shirt. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make him talk now. Uh, before that, we're going to show you his palette. Ah, Kami, you can have a look at his palette. Say ha. Ah. Say ha. Ah. So you can see a small scar. It looks pretty much normal, but you can see there's a small scar that's running all along. So that's how fine it looks right now, 14 years later. Okay, pair chole. Sajin. Onna rende patter ki chole. Onna rende mona nare anje ar yali atto ambad patte. English chole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Even if you school, there is a 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 school. So I just asked them if he has any issues, any concerns whatsoever with regarding to his cleft issues at school or at home. And mom is like, no, there is nothing like that whatsoever. Do you have any kindle in the school? Do you have any game? 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 Volleyball. So he is a volleyball champ. And what we're going to do now for him is uh, what we call as an upper jaw distraction. And why we're going to do that is because I'm going to show you uh, what exactly he needs. So you've clearly seen that his lip looks good. His nose doesn't look bad. I've done two surgeries for him. 14 years follow up. And now we're going to show you what he needs uh, for a little bit more improvement. Karima, look at that. So this is the issue he's having now. So this is what we call as a cross bite or a reverse bite. And I've done the grafting. You can see it's pretty good alveolus. And the posterior, the teeth behind are not too bad. You can see that the bite is fairly okay. No intervention. Clip it up, No orthodontics, nothing so far. Okay. Akami. Now, Kadi. Middu Akami. Now what we're going to do, if you see here, open Katama, Allah Vai Katama. This is the second premolar and this is the second premolar and that's the canine. The canine is also erupted through the bone graft. But now what we're going to do is, I'm going to split this upper jaw by half. We're going to pull it forwards uh, by means of what is called as an anterior maxillary distraction. Why are we going to do that? We're going to do that because we've taken this cone beam CT scans. Why would you wait? And the reason why his teeth are inwards compared to the lower are because his upper jaw has not grown enough. It's six millimeters deficient as of now, but he's 14 and he could grow till he's 16. So I'm planning to distract the upper jaw by about 10 to 11 millimeters, considering the fact that he may not grow as well in the next couple of years, this part of the upper jaw, I mean. So once that's gonna happen, this will all come forward. So the nose, also the lip and the teeth, after which he will go for uh, braces treatment <clears throat> all right so this is the uh, plan for him we're going to make sure that 
he has no residual issues because of a cleft. Yes, you can see a line on the lip, but once he grows mustache, once he grows hair on the upper lip, if the scar is still visible, we're going to do some transplantation, maybe when he's in his late teens. Uh, so for the moment, we are going to plan this procedure called as anterior maxillary distraction. This is really a boon uh, for all patients with issues like that. We have the largest series in the world published for this kind of procedures. We have more than 500 patients documented, published in leading PubMed index journals like craniofacial journals and plastic surgery and maxillofacial journals. And this is a teamwork also. We fabricate our own custom made device. Rather my orthodontist and our team do that. Later on, we do the surgery. They stay over with us. We turn the screw from inside the mouth and the entire jaw will grow up, will grow in exactly the way as it would have grown had it not been for the cleft. So this is the best treatment possible. The speech is not going to get affected negatively. It can just get better, if at all. So that's the plan for him. I have a lot of my subscribers asking me as to doc, why don't you have long-term follow-up patients? And I keep telling them that I'm doing this now for almost two decades. But thousands and thousands of patients have been done from all across India and from many, many different parts of the world. But sometimes to get them back for a follow-up takes time. And anyways, this is another, this is a patient. I'm going to show you the picture again once more so you know um, how he was while he was born. So that's him. You can see that. And then this is immediately after the surgery. That's before we took off the sutures. And this is how he was a few weeks later. And this is him now 14 years from the time we removed the sutures. And he has very, very good speech, normal speech like any one of us. He has some problem with the fact that the upper teeth is inside, which is what we're going to sort out in the next few months. <laughs> so, bye Marga. Now, what do you Mel Tade and the Vedilo Kondorum on a guinea clipper potter. Yana the Palu Kunjul Wangir Patinga, the Pandra time I did. Panal by Saitla. So other Kumande, Namaina Ponun Solidaro, the Pound of School on Torakla Chulrangla. Apart the Livla Wanga. Nama the Pana or Ebdim Pine and Malad Devodo. Ingorva Patanala from School Torangina or Lavanda, Ninga wait Puni Paranga. School is done in December. Okay? That's why you have to go to the hospital. That's why you have to go to the hospital. Okay? Okay? Alright. So, thank you.